Well, we have a storm moving in. It's going to arrive tonight, and you won't miss it because it's really going to kick up the wind where you are. Temperatures tomorrow will be noticeably cooler, but still not all that bad. Here's a look at your highs for your Friday. 49 degrees is what we'll end up with in Colorado Springs, and we'll top out at 57 degrees in Pueblo. So with temperatures like these, obviously we're not expecting much in the way of snow. It's just too warm. So instead, the showers that we do see for the lower elevations anyway should primarily be in the form of rain. We'll start skycast off at 10 o'clock tonight. The clouds will be thick. We are expecting mostly clouds. Cloudy skies through much of the night. The showers will start pushing into places like Walsenburg and Trinidad right around midnight through about 5 a.m. So we'll start to see those showers pushing into southern parts of I-25. For your morning drive, we are expecting to see a few areas of a rain snow mix, primarily along the Palmer Divide and up across Teller County. Could see some slushy spots across U Pass, could also see some slushy spots around Monument. But for the most part, tomorrow morning, roads are just going to be wet. So I don't anticipate that we're going to have a terrible morning drive tomorrow, but you may want to give yourself a couple extra minutes just because we will have wet roads. People have a tendency to slow down during situations like that. Around lunchtime, we are expecting the clouds to stick around. We'll still keep a few scattered showers in place also. Again, rain for lower elevations, snow up across the high country. The showers are going to become fewer and farther between through 5 o'clock, so really dwindling down, but we'll still have a few raindrops to contend with. This storm system is relatively weak. We're not expecting a lot in the way of rain, and we're certainly not expecting a lot of snow. Everything, for the most part, comes to an end by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, so it's a fairly quick moving system as well. It's going to move in, bring a few wet conditions. You'll want the umbrella tomorrow, but as far as snow accumulations, even up across the high country, we're really not expecting much. Could get up to an inch for some of the grassy surfaces, your patio furniture up around Teller County. Two to four inches for the wets and sand grays. The areas in the mountains where we'll do the best will be the San Juans, where we could get four to eight inches of snow. Elsewhere, as I said, really just going to be rain. We'll get a few showers here and there. The umbrella, definitely something that you'll want to grab on your way out the door. Temperatures tomorrow noticeably cooler than they were out there today. We'll hit 59 degrees though on Saturday. Saturday morning, you'll look out the window, it'll be awfully cloudy. Those clouds will break up by Saturday afternoon, so the sunshine is expected to return and temperatures will then warm back to 59 degrees. 68 on Sunday, Sunday looking to be the warmer of the two weekend days. So if you are trying to plan which day you want to go for a hike, Sunday looking to be the winner. 67 degrees on Monday, 57 Tuesday. Back in the 60s, Wednesday will bring back a slight chance for showers. Thursday, a better chance for showers with temperatures getting a bit cooler. Pueblo 57 tomorrow will hit 65 on Saturday. Check out that Sunday high temperature, 73 degrees. We'll keep the 70s around on Monday before we dip into the 60s. Tuesday into Wednesday with showers returning to the forecast by the middle of the work week next week. Canyon City 55 degrees tomorrow, 64 on Saturday with Sunday bringing a high temperature in the low 70s. And we'll keep those 70s in place on Monday before we cool into the 60s and then 50s next week. In Teller County, we are expecting 40s tomorrow, 50s Saturday, 60s on Sunday. And then we'll cool slightly again as we head into next week. So this storm that's moving in tomorrow, I'm not too excited about it. It is going to bring a few showers, but nothing to get overly worried about it. So don't wake up tomorrow morning hoping for a snow day. Kids, do your homework. You're not going to get a snow day <laughs> or a delay. This storm system just too warm. For most, it's just going to be rain. And even at that, we're really not expecting much rain. You heard it from Rachel. Do your you homework.